is the persuasive proposal. Audience, scan. And five, four. Hello, Robin. Hello. Good morning. Good to see you. Thank you very much. How's the pressure washing business going? You know, it's going great. Yeah. I just want to thank you both for taking your time this morning. You guys have been cleaning our buildings for years. Oh, at least. Oh, yeah. just That's right. To clean. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So as you were saying, for the past seven years, we, the Facade Squad, have been pressure washing not only your companies, but quite a few throughout the Southern California area, mostly Santa Barbara, Ventura, and San Luis Obispo. And in the course of our pressure washing work, we've noticed that oftentimes when we go in and pressure wash, we can make the building look as if it has brand new paint. However, there are some circumstances and some properties for which this is not the case. And one of your properties at 1212 Marsh Street, which we already pressure wash, is badly in need of a paint job. So, just to go over what I'm going to talk about, um, my credibility, we already know, I've been pressure washing for seven, well, not I, but we have been pressure washing for seven years, and I'd like to just go over my three main points in bringing you this proposal. Number one, the property at 1212 Marsh is badly in need of a paint job. Number two, we have experience. I don't know if you know that we have a painting br branch of our business, but we've been doing painting of commercial and retail buildings for about two or three years now. And number three, our prices are unbeatable, and I'll tell you why. So now that I've introduced myself, I would like to show you some images of how the 1212 Marsh Street property really is in need of paint. So if you wouldn't mind, I brought my computer and I'd like to show you just a few slides. Yeah, let's take a look at some of the pictures. I haven't been up to San Luis Obispo in probably about eight months. Okay, great. And this is also why I brought this to you to save you the three-hour trip. Okay, here's a shot of a wall, a planter wall. I believe that's Toro Street. I'm not sure that could be Marsh. And if you see here, the stucco is coming off and it's going to need quite a bit of prep, but we've got it covered. So let me show you another slide. Here's another wall. These are the offices back here. The painting is chipped down here especially. Look at this with the stucco. Okay. And it's a long shot of a wall. That one's a little bit harder to tell, but there's a good one. More paint chips, stucco marks. Um, here's a shot of the office, the law office. The painting is mostly over here in that way. And there's some more chip stucco. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. Yeah. What do you what do you think, Lynn? I think it's gonna need to be done. Yeah. I do also have video which will be submitted with the bib. I just wanted to give you a brief overview now. I mean Lynn, when when was the last time you were up in San Luis? I haven't been up there in probably four or five months. Okay. I've been stuck in our other office. Yeah, you know, I kind of noticed last time we were up there that, that um, you know, it looked like some of the stucco was chipping, but I was up there in the evening, and it was kind of dim lit, yeah. so, but yeah, R Robin, you know, I mean, uh, just the, you know, the presentation of the building with the walls, I mean, you guys do such a good job pressure washing for us, but I didn't realize that the paint and the stucco on the walls was chipping. I'm really glad you're bringing this it's to our true. attention. It's true, and normally we wouldn't, you know, pitch something for painting because mm -hmm. we prefer to just be able to wash it and have it look good um, to save you money, mostly, but in times where you really do need paint, and this is one of them. So I know you guys are busy, so I'd like to move along a little bit. Now that I've told you about how the property needs to be painted, I'd like to tell you about our experience painting and a little bit about our work ethic, which you already know, of course. But um, we have been painting for over three, to, two to three years uh, commercial and retail properties, specifically um, Spectrum, the Spectrum downtown in Santa Barbara. Yeah, I know that club. Right. The health club. Yeah, it's, it's Southern California and um, Arizona health club. You also clean another one of our buildings in Santa Barbara. Um, that's right, Bank of the West. Yeah. On Upper State. Right. That's actually about like a half mile up the street from Spectrum. I've, I used to live in Santa Barbara, so. Yeah. You know. I um, noticed your new paint job on that building, Lynn. It's beautiful. Well, we sh you know, we should have gotten the bid in for that one, too, but that's okay. <laughs> We've been busy <laughs> doing other work. We did Tom's Toys in downtown Slow on Higuera. Oh, that's a, that's a big building. That's like three stories. Yeah, it is, and it was difficult because because it's along the creek, so everything has to be environmentally correct, it, it, such as, you know, with sump pumps, water reclamation, only green chemicals, because it drains all into the creek and the birds and the ducks. And right. You, you know, you guys are kind of um, within the, the, the laws of the EPA. They're, they're especially stringent within California with like, water reclamation. I remember that was one of the highlights of 
why I chose hiring your company. Correct. We are green seal certified. All of our chemicals are biodegradable. They're carbon based. They're fine. Fish could drink them if they wanted to. <laughs> okay. So those Lynn, will you drink them? <laughs> you uh, no, I'm not going to thank you. Let's have a toast. Now, am I correct in assuming that if you keep power washing this building, it's going to start chipping off the paint? So we definitely need to get it painted. Yeah. We do. And once we get the, we, yeah. once we restucco and do the paint, we'll still be able to continue to power wash no problem for five more years at least. Mm -hmm. So, and then, okay, so I'd just like to move on because I know you guys are busy. And um, we're living in L.A. where everyone goes really fast. But <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd like to tell you how our prices compare with um, the other painting providers. That's what, one of the things I'm interested in, obviously. I mean, I know the quality of your work ethic, and I mean, that just pretty much speaks for itself because, you know, we've checked on your, your guys' jobs that you've done cleaning our buildings, our precious buildings with all our True. valued clients. But True. that is one of the main things. Uh, because um, the Santa Barbara building that we had painted that you just referenced, uh, you know, that we had painted a little while back, that is a very expensive paint job. Right. And now, right. Robin, uh, from what I understand here with with the visuals and the pictures you're showing us, it's just all walls, and right. staircase, and it's not the building. No, it's not going to be the building itself at okay. this point. I don't think you need it. But you do need these walls done because they're the first thing people see when they come up to the property. So we did a survey of a local other painters. We didn't do a survey exactly. It was more like epiphany, serendipity, because um, our biggest paint, uh, painting competitor in Santa Barbara is Best Painting, and our biggest competitor in San Luis Obispo is Browder. And they're both highly, you know, highly recognizable. Drive around with their vans, and oftentimes people don't realize we paint because we don't advertise it. It's, it's not as much our main thing as it is theirs. But either way, we actually recently acquired the Libero Theater in Santa Barbara, which is a historic building requires a lot of attention to detail. And once we got the job, Libero, they showed us um, best bid, and our prices were 25% lower than theirs. Similar situation in San Luis Obispo with Tom's Toys. Once we got that job, they showed us Browder's bid, and we were 30% lower than theirs. And I guess that's why they hired you for both that's Libero and one Tom's of the reasons, Toys. One of the reasons, correct. Hmm. So I better wrap it up, because I know we got to go. So in conclusion, now that I've shown you pictures of 12 12 Marsh and its need for paint, I've gone over our painting experience and reminded you of our work ethic and compared our prices with other well-known painters, I'd like to sum up by thanking you for your time. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> well, Robin, it was great seeing you. And um, I'd also like to remind you that once you get the bid, all of our prices and terms are negotiable. Thank you very much. And Thank you, Robin. Have a wonderful weekend. All right. Bye-bye.